Before talking about the esophagus histology, I think it's important to apply the anatomical knowledge that we have learned doing a clinical case. So in this second clinical case of my channel, we're going to focus on the esophagus anatomy. So please, if you haven't seen the esophagus anatomy videos, now will be a good time to click here to watch them. During this video, I will only mention the relevant aspects of the clinical history and physical examination. I will put a link in the description below for a PDF document containing all the information of this clinical case. Please write your answer in the comment section below. Tell me which anatomical structure do you think is involved in this clinical case, what's the diagnosis, and if you think you need more exams to reach a diagnosis. Welcome to a brand new class on DNMD where you can learn everything related about the basic sciences of medical knowledge and apply it to patient care in the future or right now. Chendo is a 52-year-old married man that lives in Quito, Ecuador and was born in Napo, located in the Ecuadorian jungle, and lived there until he was 25 years of age. He comes to your office complaining of difficulty to swallow food. He says that last week he has had important difficulty in swallowing his food and he has these problems with both solid and liquids. He has had some similar problems before and it has started around 3 years ago but was mainly to solid food and it has worsened steadily ever since. This week was particularly difficult because he had to eat slowly, extend his neck and adopt postures in order for the food to go down into the stomach. He also complains of regurgitation of undigested food and occasionally of saliva. Also three months ago he presented with a heartburn sensation and chest pain as well as some weight loss, approximately 5 kilograms in the last three years. Regarding his past medical history, he says that he had some allergic problems as a child and one time he presented with swollen eyelids, but that has never happened again. He was diagnosed with gastroesophageal reflux disease three months ago due to the heartburn sensation and was given omeprazole 20 mg each day for 8 weeks. However, it has not alleviated this heartburn sensation at all. Regarding his family history, his father passed away at the age of 60 due to systolic heart failure and his mother was diagnosed with sigmoid pulvillus at the age of 70. She is still alive and lives at Napo. John doesn't smoke or drink alcohol, he denies consumption of drugs, he has one bowel movement every three days and micturition five times a day. As exercise, he jogs one hour every day and also he likes to do some social work in the Ecuadorian jungle since he was 18 years. He goes and builds houses for low-income people. John says that he has been feeling tired lately, especially when he goes out to jog, he gets tired more than usual and sometimes he feels shortness of breath. Also, he has been feeling like his heart is coming out of his chest and beating rapidly and happens spontaneously throughout the day. It began three weeks ago. Also, this last week, he presented with an episode of loss of consciousness, but that has not happened again since. During the physical examination, you found stable vital signs. He measures 170 centimeters and weights 60 kilograms. And the only relevant finding of the physical examination are irregular heartbeats and the presence of a systolic murmur in the fifth intercostal space mid-clavicular line. The lungs are clear and the abdomen is normal as well. The rest of the physical examination is completely normal. Now I'll show you the results of John's exams. So please pause the video so you can see each exam carefully. John shows you a blood exam done this week. Also you order a upper GI endoscopy that reports food stuck in the esophagus and esophageal manometry that reports an increased resting pressure of the lower esophageal sphincter as well as decreased peristalsis in the lower two-thirds of the esophagus an esophagogram is done and also an electrocardiogram. So that's it for this clinical case. Please put your answer down in the comment section below and remember that the main focus of this clinical case is the anatomical knowledge application. This case can be solved by medical students in the first year and can also be of use for senior students and doctors to apply the knowledge of esophageal diseases. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's always for our patients. 
If you like this video and the content I make, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. With your help, I'm sure we can get free medical content to every corner of this world.